Hi guys, here we are at this debate website and you're going to be using this today to help you develop um, an argument. Okay, so these are debates that have already happened and this is this website's top 100 debates. It's actually kind of cool. They have a lot more than these 100s. These are just their top ones. So what you're going to do is you're going to see um, all these different debates and it's worded kind of funny. It says like this house believes. What that means is this debate is about um, reality television does more harm than good or just for example look at this one this house would ban homework um, or like look at number 21 this house would ban the sale of violent video games um, I even saw one down here earlier um, number 39 this house would ban human cloning which has a tie into the book that we did for accelerated language arts um, the house of the scorpion so just for the purposes of this demonstration I wanna focus on number 17 this house believes wild animals should not be kept in captivity because we're reading the one and only Ivan and this is a huge theme in our read aloud book so you you would basically what you're gonna do is find one that you're interested in um, including this one if you're interested in this one you're gonna click on it like I just did and it's going to take you to the debate so the first thing you're gonna see is sort of the title um, that and they're arguing that wild animals should not be kept in captivity okay underneath the title is um, a description and where it says read more please click on that and I'd like you to read through um, definitely skim through it so that you at least have the background knowledge okay so I'm not gonna read this one to you um, but basically it's saying zoos um, are the main reason that animals are in captivity and they're usually in urban areas where animals normally wouldn't be found okay so it gives you the background knowledge so you would read through that and then as you scroll down what you're gonna see um, are these two tabs you've got the points for and the points against okay so when it says points for for what is this title up here points that are on this person's side that wild animals should not be kept in captivity and the ones that are on points against are the people who who disagree and they think wild animals should be kept in captivity in like a zoo okay so you're gonna see a bunch of claims um, th they're making the claim wild animals in zoos suffer unnecessarily or wild animals belong in their natural habitat these are claims okay so like let's just say that we click on this one claim that wild animals in zoos suffer unnecessarily we click on it and what appears is you've got up the points you've got the support of that claim wild animals in zoos suffer unnecessarily and here's why and then it, and you would read through this okay you will notice what's called a counterpoint okay also called um, a counterclaim and so this one is saying no wild animals don't suffer if the zoo is good and so you're gonna have to skim through both of those and then take a look at another claim so for example wild animals belong in their natural habitat you click on that and again read through the supporting points and um, read through the counterpoints okay um, and then what you want to do is actually look at some of the points against so some of the points even though you might be on this side and you are for it also skim through some of the ones that are against and those two those have points and counterpoints um, so after that Another thing, so you'll, you're going to actually spend quite a while looking through all of those claims and all the evidence that they have already provided for the claims, um, and you're going to develop your own argument um, based on this topic. So you're just going to write up in a Google Doc. You need to follow the directions that I've provided for you, um, and, it, and so if you're writing about this one, the wild animal should not be kept in captivity, make your claim such as there shouldn't be zoos and then you need to back up your claim you need to support your argument and you need to say why why shouldn't they be kept in captivity or whatever your topic is it could be about any of those topics that we looked at feel free to look down here there's other um, there's some more information like before the debate this is how people felt after the debate people some of the people had changed their minds we've got the bibliography or the works cited resources and there's even some links for further reading Okay, so again, you're choosing a topic that you find interesting in this top 100 debates. You're reading through all that information, and it takes quite a while, and then you're developing an argument.